Good morning. Welcome to Belchville State Park. It's Sunday, April 14th, and we are here at the trailhead for the Sawmill Loop Trail. Now, I've passed by this trailhead many times. I never I was always curious about it, but I never bothered to check it out. It's a small trail. You can hear some traffic noise from Route 476 to Northeast Extension. It's over in that direction. Uh, we're below the large dam of Belchville Creek. Uh, Beltsville Lake, excuse me. But let me read to you what it says about Sawmill Loop Trail so you know. Straight from the park website, it says, two miles, more difficult hiking, it's a loop trail. Looping along the Sawmill Run Creek, the trail passes by mixed forest with large eastern hemlocks, fields, a pond, and a forested swamp. There are several historical points of interest along this trail, such as several dams and the remnants of a water raceway for a grist mill. An abandoned slate quarry dates back to the 18th and 19th century. Little two mile trail, beautiful morning. Let's go check it out. Thanks for joining me. I do appreciate you. Let's go hit that trail. I'm still here in the uh, trailhead parking lot and uh, I just took a walk down the road a little bit and uh, I seen where the loop comes out, right on the other side of the creek. Sawmill Creek is right there uh, behind the car. So the trail starts here, it goes up and then it loops back around. And then Pahokapo Creek, which is a major tributary, uh, is right down that way. I went to check that out. So I don't know, interesting place. Sometimes these small trails are real gems and sometimes they're a total bust. I guess we'll find out. I mean, it sounds interesting enough. So we're just starting off on the trail here and uh, it's a really really wide it's like an actually like a like a like a stone crushed road basically sometimes I call these trails dog walk trails because two miles is a perfect loop to walk your dog and there was one of them stations in the beginning and it says gives you that like the green bag for picking up your dog's uh, poo so definitely I get the impression that this was once a uh, property like it must have been like a farm or something because there's some native native trees and species and some non-native ones it's making for an interesting kind of mix here i'm seeing some wildflowers too so it's pretty cool so far So as I mentioned in the beginning, it's mid-April and here in Eastern Pennsylvania, mid-April to mid-June is really like a perfect time to get outside. So I can't encourage you enough to get outside and enjoy the warming weather. Everything's greening up. There's wildflowers sprouting all over the place. The streams are flowing from the uh, spring rains and oh man, it's just, just a great time to be outside. And uh, really liking this uh, little walk so far. Nice easy walk and uh, terrain is changing a little bit. It's open right now. So uh, yeah, very, very cool. So we just came out of that open section of scrubby uh, brush habitat and we are now walking through this dark uh, hemlock lined section here. It's really neat. Definitely getting the impression that this was someone's uh, a private country road or a part of an estate. Uh, just reverting back to nature gradually. It's just really, really beautiful back here. Really surprising find here.
So we're now at the section of the hike that is described, I believe, as the old mill race from the grist mill that was once here. This spot is absolutely beautiful. We have this old stone walls and like covered, thickly covered in, in vibrant green moss, uh, skunk cabbage, uh, wildflowers. This place is like way exceeding my expectations. It's so beautiful back here. Oh man, we're gonna spend some time in this spot taking some shots. Absolutely gorgeous. Scenic Pennsylvania nature adventure discovery. Sometimes these little trails turn into hidden gems, man. Just a beautiful little spot here to sit in nature, a little wetland area. Uh, skunk cabbage popping up everywhere. We have some native hemlock and some, some spruce trees planted here. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna take a check, take a look now down right at uh, Sawmill Creek, which is right, right in front of me. I found this location to be profoundly calming and peaceful, and I took my time looking around at all of the various old stone walls, trees, and flowers that were all around me. Do you hear what I hear? Do you hear what I hear? <laughs> I think I'm gonna change my name officially to Walter Waterfalls Zolna. I can't believe it, but I think we got a waterfall on the trail. Oh my gosh. All right, now right on the other side of Sawmill Creek there, I can actually see the uh, other side of the trail, the return end of this two mile loop. So I think we're only about a, a quarter of the way in. So we still got a ways to go. Hopefully we see some more cool stuff. I think we will. Well, all right, my friends because I am so happy right now and in such a good mood, I want to announce to you something uh, new and exciting uh, that's going on with my uh, social media here. So I have just opened a page on the platform known as Patreon, Walter Zolna Nature Adventure Discovery. And what Patreon is simply, it's a place where small uh, independent creators like myself, where if you would like to support my work as an artist, and as a creator, you can do so with a small financial gift. Now, my content is always going to be free, local, and independent here on YouTube. But if you would like to really help me out, and there's no obligation at all, and I don't really expect anyone to actually do this, but you can go to my page there, Walter Zolna Nature Adventure Discovery, and for a small monthly donation, you can help uh, really help me out financially and help me get out to more of these places and, and do more exploring and uh, you know the cost of filming and editing and traveling it's a lot I love doing it I'm never gonna stop doing it but uh, I just wanted to put that out there to you because after four years of doing this um, I gotta try you know you don't know if you don't try Whoa. and there goes a gunshot so that may be the fly in the ointment of this place 
that's the second or third gunshot I've heard here. There may be a range or someone private shooting back here, but if you can, check me out on Patreon. I'll leave a link to the, uh, to the page uh, in the video description below. Thanks, I appreciate you. All right, this here is uh, Slate. And to the left of the trail, we have this little uh, wetland area, this little pit. I'm willing to bet this is the old slate quarry that's mentioned in the uh, trail description here. Check this out. <laughs> Jackpot. That hole, that goes down there. I can't even see how far it goes down. Um, Topo Ranger, where are you at? <laughs> I ain't crawling in there, but it's big enough for a person to get in there. Now there is, there was a nice bit of uh, scat right here by the hole. I'm thinking definitely fox or maybe coyote. So there could be animals living in there. There's a little bit of trash, so I'm not sure if stupid people threw trash in there or uh, um, people have crawled in there but I can't quite fit but man just discovery after discovery Just continuing on along beautiful Sawmill Creek and uh, across on the other side now it's really opening up into something I'm not sure what but the trail is going to wrap around here to the other side of the creek at some point so we're going to find out.
I was filming the little skunk cabbage in this open sunny area and in my mind I was saying it's time to start looking for snakes and amphibians and whatever else may come out and there were two snakes five feet away from me <laughs> oh man this day is turning into a blessing So I really thought this was gonna be a short little video, like a five minute video, but we've gone about one mile now. We're at the turnaround point on the loop and we've been on the trail for three hours. So I want you to understand, I would love to produce more content on a more consistent basis, a video every week, two videos every week, but the time it's gonna take me to edit this video and to put something together of quality, it takes time, but I think it's an important lesson if you're watching this there, there, there's no hurry when you're out in nature i mean unless you're a trail runner or you're doing it strictly for the exercise or for the for the workout immerse yourself in your surroundings I enjoy it embrace it i mean there's so much to see and uh that's what i'm doing here today I i've decided to make a whole day out of this two mile trail and i'm loving every minute of it so the trail just made a little loop uh, over that bridge right before you get to the road the trail just crosses over and now we're heading back downstream creek is to our right hopefully we'll get a look at what this open area is up here on the left because I'm kind of curious some kind of field maybe or something some kind of emergency spillway or something related to the Belchville Dam project. It was a project of the Army Corps of Engineers, so this was like dug out or something. I'm not sure what's going on here. I took some time to look around at the shale outcroppings that lined the spillway to see if I could find any fossils. Didn't find anything out there, but hey, you never know until you look, right? So. No big deal. We're back in the woods, heading back down the trail, and I'm going to move a little faster now because we've already spent a lot of time out here, and I think we've pretty much seen most of what there is to see. So, still a beautiful walk in the woods here, though. We're under this nice canopy of hemlocks on a little bluff above the stream right now. So we're down by Sawmill Falls again. I want to show you this really old white pine that's become what is known as a nursery log. And if you look at this tree has been down for a long time, but look at all the life that is growing out of this log. The ferns, mushrooms, uh, looks like a, a small tree there, some more maybe hemlocks, and all the way down the line. And as this tree decays and turns into dirt, it brings forth new life into the forest, which I always think is a wonderful thing to see.
beautiful little stone wall behind me. Just another interesting feature of this hike. I mean, just, just feature after feature. It's a great trail. I said it enough. <laughs> You're either going to believe me or not. We've got the remains of uh, some type of dam or infrastructure here. I don't recall seeing this on the way in. Maybe I did, but there definitely was like a dam here at one point. Wow. Just heard a rumble of thunder too. Really graying up in that direction. But we're almost back to the car, but man, I could just spend all day here. So that was the spectacular Saul Mill Trail. And I just stopped at this uh, little church that's right outside of the uh, trailhead just to look at some of these older stones. But um, if you want a great family friendly easy trail packed with interesting things to see, a real hidden gem if you're at Beltsville State Park, come and check this trail out. I mean, it had old walls, hear that thunder, it had ruins it had waterfall beautiful stream i mean just so much good stuff happening there so much interesting stuff thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed this video please give it a like if you have any comments or questions let me know down below and i'll be sure to get back to you as soon as i can uh i thank you i appreciate you uh I'm gonna hit the hit the get back in the car now before it starts ringing in on me on this beautiful day where it's a blessing to be alive. All right, guys. Until next time, I'll see you on the trail. Gator out. Nature Adventure Discovery. 